Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about survivorship curve. So what is survivorship curve? Survivorship curves are the plot, uh, in this case, the plot, the proportion of individuals alive at each stage. That means, I mean, different age group, if we take an individual with a different age group, the amount of uh, the individual from a population will survive at different ages. If we plot them in a graph, that will be survivorship curve. So this is, uh, it's given as an example here. You see that there are two axes of this graph, that is one is X axis, another one is the Y axis. See in the X axis, we place uh, the maximum lifespan, the percentage of maximum lifespan, uh, or you can simply put ages there, right? We can simply place age, that means 5, 10, 20, 15, 20, 25, 30 years, 50, 100 years of age, different age, or in this case, you put it percentage of maximum lifespan. Now in Y axis, we put percentage of survivors. Now if you put percentage in both the axes, you should put percentage. But if you put natural values from population, you can also put that as an age as well as the number of individuals that are survived. Now in either way, once we place these things as scale, now we can have graph for different individuals in the population. For example, if you take human being, uh, we actually belongs to the first type of uh, survivorship type of curve that is called type 1 survivorship curve type 1 survivorship curve and type 1 means you know if you look at the graph very clearly it will see something like that it, it's steady for a long at the very early age because this is the time at the early age and this is the latter age right so in the earlier age you see most of the human being you know see the number of the percentage of survivors are the most at the early age and that is true right because we get a lot of parental care we get care from our parents all the time and uh, we are very much protected uh, there by them so very few uh, death occurred in the early age of our life as human being now as we go on our our age slowly start to rise uh, from 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years of age and as we see as we go after that later in, in a higher age most of the people slowly start to die because of you know illness, diseases or natural death uh, due to uh, aging. So we see this as a type 1 growth curve where we see a lot of persons are living at the earlier age and they are dying at the later age of their life. This is type 1 survivorship curve. Now the second one is the type 2 survivorship curve and uh, this survivorship curve is pretty straight that means uh, throughout the lifespan irrespective of early age or later ages or aged conditions the individuals will die in a slow steady rate throughout their lifespan throughout the their lifespan I mean uh, the rate of death for that individual uh, at the early age like five years of age is same as the rate of death uh, at least you know uh, not actually same but uh, it's kind of steady throughout the time uh, at the 60 years away uh, so normally they don't actually the the, the organisms which uh, resides in the type 2 survivorship curve do not have high age distribution there i mean they survive for very less amount of years uh, compared with human beings but if you take this example is squirrel uh, type 2 survivorship curve squirrel you see the graph is straight uh, from here you see this is the type 2 survivorship curve and the third kind is known as a type 3 survivorship curve example is uh, the uh, snail and any other sea creatures like you know uh, calcium coated sea creatures there snails are the example typical examples there so you see snail in those cases what you see in the early age if you look at here maximum death rate here at the early age you know the curve is going down means people are dying organisms are dying so maximum death rate observed in the early stage of their life now after that as they move on to the later age, right? so say after the 50% of the lifespan is already uh, achieved, then this rate of death becomes less and survivability becomes kind of steady. right? So in these individuals uh, for the type 3 survivorship curve, uh, they die pretty, uh, they die most of the times in pretty early age because they don't have the parental care because lot of offsprings are there in those cases. So parents uh, were unable to take care of all the offsprings. So they slowly start to die at their early age. But after that, uh, in the latter ages, they survive as an adult for a long period of time. So this is the type 3 survivorship curve. So this in a sense are different survivorship curve and these survivorship curves are important, you know, because uh, these this curves are playing a vital role, telling us about um, 
the population growth and population size is going to be depending upon looking at the type of population that we are uh, going okay and it is actually telling us about the life history of an individual of an organism of a population that the organism is going to die at the early age or not or leave at the early age more or not so this is that's why these graphs are also called as a life history curves or life history graph okay now here you see the high survivorship at the early age low survivorship at the later age and this is for type 1 and you can see almost at a, after a particular age uh, it's we look a sudden drop here i mean drop in the survivorship that means a huge death uh, percentage is observed here because of low survivorship at the later ages and there is a limit of the age like 65 years 70 years for human after that age most of the people will die naturally or by illness or any other purpose on the other hand in the type 2 is a kind of steady survivorship throughout their lifespan right uh, so slowly decreasing but type 3 is a different because in this case most of them uh, already dead at the earlier time then uh, kind of level up at the later ages now uh, if i if i talk about the type 3 are uh, example here in this case human being type 2 you know constant death rate squirrel right uh, coral also belongs to the type 2 and honeybees are also belong to the uh, type 2 survivorship curve type 3 examples are sea urchins right plants oysters right these are the examples of type 3 survivorship curve and these are some examples that are given here if you see that uh, type 1 2 3 is given for girl seagull or any other kind of girl you see this is a kind of type 1 survivorship curve though we design the survivorship curves in this direct constant manner actually if we if we take a population measure the death rate and put them in graph to get survivorship curve you won't get a beautiful drawing like this you get certain ups and downs over there so you'll get something like that but eventually if you look at girl you see a graph like this so obviously we can say this is type 1 survivorship curve this is human again type 1 this is also type 1 so there is a type of uh, type 1 survivorship curve everyone so that's all about survivorship curves and by looking at the survivorship curve you can tell about the history of that individual and uh, when that individual is going to die you can predict it so that's kind of it so if you like the video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel to get more and more video updates like that thank you